Hi there, I'm Chim Onyebilama. Thank you for joining me and you're here, not by accident. I want to share with you on the topic, no more condemnation. Romans 8, 1 to 2 says, Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Now, it is difficult to imagine the amount of guilt and condemnation that many live under. And I'm not talking of unbelievers here, for if you're a man without Christ, you're already guilty, whether you feel it or not. But I'm referring to those of us who have experienced the new birth and are alive to God. For many of us, when we come to the Lord, we, 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 we accepted the fact that we have been forgiven and our past is written off. But after years of reality of falling short of expectation, both man's and God's, we become laden again with guilt. A brother once told me how difficult he found many parts of the Old Testament to be because he often felt condemned by God, the God of the Old Testament, who seemed to be out to judge every sin. Yet the God of the Old Testament is also the God of the New Testament. He hasn't changed. He is and has always been the same loving and gracious one. The problem is that when a man is struggling with guilt and condemnation, everything, even the smallest rebuke, rebuke can reinforce condemnation. Oh, how we need a fresh revelation of God's love for us. The man who has a revelation of God's love for him begins to see even God's rebukes, God's corrections and disciplines as evidence of his love and acceptance. That's what Hebrews talks about when he says, and have you completely forgotten the word of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son? It says, my son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline and do not lose heart when he rebukes you because the Lord disciplines the ones he loves and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. And I'm reading from Hebrews 12, 5 to 6. I don't know what you have faced or you are facing that makes you feel condemned by God, but know this, God does not condemn you. He accepts you as his son if you have given your heart to Jesus. Yet part of the manifestation of God's love and acceptance for us is his rebuke. So we shouldn't lose heart when he rebukes us, when he corrects us. God rebukes those he loves. That is why many Christian leaders are missing it, in my opinion. In our day when they equate every form of rebuke with condemnation, God rebukes us in love and we can rebuke each other in love. The problem is not whether we rebuke or praise each other. Our problem is, be is because we are not free from guilt. We filter everything through the law of sin and death. That is, it's, you say, I have sinned, so I'm condemned. I've done something wrong, so I'm condemned. Because of of this, we are unable to enjoy the liberty of the fresh vision that the law of the spirit of life offers us. Uh, I have sinned, but God, Christ gives me new life, new beginnings. Our problem is it, 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 eternal, it, it, eternal, it's guilt. That is why in the next few episodes, I want to explore how to deal with guilt, how to broadcast my point. Uh, and I want to broadcast my point to show you that God is a, a God of love in the Old Testament and in the New. I will be starting the next episode of this encouragement from a book in the Old Testament. I want to encourage you to be honest with yourself and ask, do I experience constant guilt? Then tell it to God and ask him to teach you how to move from living by the law of sin and death to living by the law of the spirit of life. I hope that this has been helpful to you. I'm going to stop here now and uh, I'll, I'll call you to join me in the next video where I'll continue to expand on this issue. But before we do, are you born again? Have you given your heart to Christ? If you have, and then this is a good time to do so. I want you to pray with me because guilt cannot be taken away until we come first of all and receive the forgiveness of Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for my sin. I'm tired of my sin. I believe you died for me and that you rose again. Please come into my life and give me a new heart. And I'll follow you for the rest of my days. Amen. If you've prayed that prayer with all your heart, then Christ has come in. I want you to contact us with the number on your screen and let's send you something that will help you in your spiritual walk with God. Uh, join me in the next video where I continue to expand on this issue of no more condemnation. Bye for now.